what we'll find out is whatever David's having in his life or whatever he thinks he's having is not really reality. And whatever he thinks is happening with Kristen is not really happening. And she doesn't know what's happening with him, but she has her own thing that's going on. And it's just a, it's just a you know quandary to everyone um, what is happening at all times. I'm Anna Rumor with Pop Culture, and I've got with us today Katja Herbers and Mike Coulter to talk about season three of Evil. Thank you so much for joining me. Hi, thank you. Thank you for having us. Well, so we ended season two with that kiss between Kristen and David. I mean, what a place to pick up. What can we expect to see with these two moving forward into season three? Something you don't expect. You're going to see something you absolutely do not expect. We're going to see, I guess we're going to see David and Kristen and everyone sort of try to figure out their lives. And I think the Kings have just, you know, made everything much more complicated by putting David into the priesthood, because I think the greatest fear was like, well, once he's in the priesthood, what do we do with the storyline and how do we keep it interesting for everyone? And I think also having him and Kristen fall into this um, accidental um, kiss in such a very vulnerable moment and then trying to figure out how to back their way out of that. And what does that, where does that lead their relationship? There's just a lot of awkwardness, a lot of um, un- uncertainty, and 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 we can't sit in those feelings that long. And so we have to push on. But they've come up with a clever device and a way for us to sort of still enjoy this um, idea and fantasize about what it is and how it would be. Yet still not actually explore anything, because what we'll find out is whatever David's having in his life or whatever he thinks he's having is not really reality. And whatever he thinks is happening with Kristen is not really happening. And she doesn't know what's happening with him, but she has her own thing that's going on. And it's just a, it's just a, you know, quandary to everyone um, what is happening at all times. And I think that's <laughs> going to be going to be the fun of it. And we won't get any further along. So um, good luck with any answers. Yeah, right. Classic evil season, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, so many shippers were like waiting for that kiss when you both got that script and, and got to that part where you like, you're welcome to everyone. Yes. Or what were your thoughts? Yeah. <laughs> Very much well, you're welcome. As a, like an as an actor, I, I thought the way that it happened was was just so beautiful and, and challenging to to get take it to that place of you know, I'm, I'm really laying myself bare for him in, in everything that I feel awful about. And, and he accepts me still and, and, and loves me still. And then that transitions into passion and they kind of really could have it all, but they really cannot. And so yeah. I, I just thought that was a beautiful way to do it. Absolutely. Well, and Mike, now that David is kind of, he's been ordained, he broke that vow pretty quickly. I mean, where does that leave his, his work and his connection with God? You know, I think, I think what I've learned um, in the little time I've been, um, uh, I've been pretending to be a priest is that there's a lot of forgiveness in everything. I don't think, you know, I think what I've realized and what I've just sort of come to the conclusion of aside from the fact that yes, there's, there's confessions, but David is, you know, he's got a long rope. I mean, he's one of the few black priests, in, on the globe, let alone in the country, let alone in this in, in the immediate area, right? So it's like tenure, right? He's a tenured professor. What are they going to do? I mean, what, what are you going to take his keys from him? I mean, he's got his own <laughs> room. It's not going to look good if he gets fired right away. I don't know if he can get fired. I don't think there's a way out. So he's a lifer. So I think he's sort of realizing like, you know what? You're going to make some mistakes. But for the most part, if you repent, Things go on. So he's going to yeah. wear that out of it. He might have a few parties. He might throw a couple <laughs> um, a couple of little shindigs in the room. You know, um, I, who knows? But but once you realize that, you know, you get you get forgiven for a lot. Uh, you know, you just gotta you just gotta live your life, right? You know, YOLO. I think I know Mike's talking. This is not no, no, no. <laughs> David, David's David's David's, David's David approach to life now David is David. YOLO. Right? No, YOLO. it's not. That is <laughs> that is. Yeah. It. That's season what it is. When, when David- <laughs> it's the YOLO season. YOLO I love it. season I love for it. David. What are we talking about? This Heather. is it. This, this is, is what we're doing. <laughs> well, I thank you so much. Um, I'm looking forward to the everyone seeing the rest of the season. And uh, I appreciate your time.